today we're going to be working on our RV toilet. We have a Thetford 34437 is the model number. It will no longer hold water. So if your toilet is no longer holding water, then the seal is going bad and cannot also push down on your pedal to fill it full of water because it'll want to let the water go by instead of filling it. So what we did is we purchased a kit for it. it has all the seals necessary and a new ball as well. It is uh, called the waste ball kit. Ours is this one right here, that 34417 slash 34118. That is the kit that goes with ours. What you want to do first is you want to go ahead and shut off your main water coming into your coach. Also turn off your water pump. Make sure there's no water going to it before you start disconnecting things. Uh, you'll need a towel and a straight screwdriver, a pair of pliers, and also some rubber gloves. What I like to do is clean your toilet also. I will take and sanitize the toilet everywhere really good before I start handling it. Even though I'm using rubber gloves, I still want to do that so I'm not accidentally touching something else and transferring things. I've got the water shut off, uh, getting ready to disconnect the toilet. Let's get to it. First thing we want to do is take this shroud off. The shroud has some O-rings on the back side and they hold the back side of this shroud on. There's two of them. We want to take both of those off and then we will spread this apart, push the pedal down, and this shroud should slide right off. Okay. Got one of them off, they're stretchy, and they hold the back side of that uh, shroud. And then there's one more back here, a small one, and there it is. Set that aside as well. Now, this shroud should pull forward by holding down this pedal, pulling the shroud apart, and sliding this off. This is a good time to clean some of these parts. We use an all-purpose uh, plant-powered cleaner called I believe they pronounce it Ecos, an all-purpose cleaner. And then we have another one called seventh generation that we use as well. If you really feel like it's necessary, you can use the bleach. We have used it, not saying we never do, but we like to try to stay away from those products as much as possible. This was a good time to get it all cleaned up. It was kind of dirty underneath that shroud, so we got that cleaned. So now you got access to water lines and your bolts here. All right, so I'm gonna let all the water out. Pushing down on the pedal. I want to try to drain as much as we can so when we pull this um, off and we uh, disconnect those water lines, we don't have as much water running on the uh, towels that we have laying on the floor. So we try to get as much as we can out. All right, that's pretty good. So our toilet gives you the option whether you can change just the ball and the seal in here or you can pull the whole thing off and change the seal at the bottom of the toilet as well. Since we got the whole kit, we're just gonna go ahead and replace all of it, make sure we're good to go. This is a good time to clean everything while you got the shroud off, clean the inside of the shroud as well. So now I'm gonna take off the water line. There should be just a little bit of water coming out of that. There we go. And then on this side, there's a clip there. Squeeze that, pull it backwards pop that line off. There we go. There'll be a little bit more water coming out of that as well. Now you need to take these flange bolts off. One on this side and one on the other side. Getting ready to take the toilet and lift it off and uh, put it off to the side. So we've got a trash bag to set it down on so you don't get anything on your floor. I've been changing gloves every so often because I need to take one off to touch something else. This uses a half inch socket for the base. Loosen it on both sides. The flange bolts are kind of tall. Since there's a shroud around it, nobody had cut the uh, bolts off to shorten them. Sometimes like in a residential toilet, you'll cut these bolts off so that you can put the caps over the top. But since this doesn't use caps, they just left them long. If it's like ours, you're going to need a deep well socket in order to get these off. Alright, I'm just going to double up a couple paper towels and throw that over the hole once I move this base over. 
So you just need to lift it up carefully and set it over on your plastic bag. That's a good time to clean everything off. All right, so now we can change this seal out. I'm gonna take this and put it out of the way. Put that over the top of that hole. And here's your rubber seal. You wanna make sure you put the new one on the same way. Here's the new seal. Be a good idea to clean that off as well. Any debris sitting in between there and your seal can actually be enough to cause it to leak. That new seal's on. So now you've got four bolts, one back here and two on the other side as well. So it's a half inch wrench and uh, you need to take all of those off. All right, we got a nut, we got a plastic washer and a metal washer. So make sure that your plastic, when you put it back on, goes down first and then your metal washer and then your nut. Plastic needs to be down first so that there's no metal pushing against the porcelain because you could crack it. If you crack it, then you're probably gonna need to get a whole new toilet. All right, a little trick. Since ours has these little holes and there's not much room getting your hand in there, it's hard to get those washers out. So take a, a little straight screwdriver, lift up and put your finger on the other side and come up with it. And that's about the easiest way because you can't get your fingers in there to lift those up. So there's our second one. Now we've got two more bolts on the other side. Then we can lift our bowl off of the base. On some of these toilets, the base and the bowl are connected where you have to turn it just a little bit and it comes off of these notches and then it pulls off. Ours has four bolts, which that's what holds it down and there's nothing to turn. It just comes straight off once you get those four bolts off. So here is the piece that we need to take off. All right, now that we've got the bowl off the base, here is the ball and the seal. We're gonna discard of that seal. Again, clean this area. There's a lot of dried, corroded deposit here from the water and the other debris. We'll just call it debris. In order to replace the ball here, there is a screw on the back side. It's a Phillips screw. It goes into that and uh, we have to take that off in order to get that ball off. First, before I touch my screwdriver, take that glove off, hold the toilet base with the hand that has the glove on. This is where that screw's at. Got a little suck in there. So there's your little screw. So here's what the ball looks like. And what I need to do is try to pry this out of the hole. So that comes off. And there's the old ball. And it goes only one way. There's a side that has a screw hole in it and the side that's just perfectly round that goes in the slot. Again, perfect time to clean the insides of this. Okay, I'm gonna spare you the details of looking inside the hole here. I've already cleaned it as best I can, but I gotta make sure this side that has a little hole for the screw goes in the correct side. Place a little grease around that. Okay, so let's put that that slot first, stick it in there. The rubber seal on this faces down and it just pushes right in until it makes a seal. Now what we need to do is put our rubber seal on here. Make sure all your bolt holes line up. They're all coming through. Press down on it a little bit and make sure it seals good. Now we're ready to put your nuts back on your bolt. Make sure, again, the plastic washer goes down first, and then the metal, and then your nut. Be sure you don't tighten it too tight so you don't crack your bolt, just good and snug. So again, your plastic washer first. Don't tighten one bolt all the way down. Try to snug it a little bit, go to the opposite corner, snug that one, then come back over to this corner, snug it, and then go over to the opposite corner there, snug it. Then come back and do your final tightening and do it in the same pattern. Tighten this one down just good and snug and don't over tighten it or you'll crack the bowl. It's a porcelain bowl. Then come over to this one, do the same, then here, and then back here. Now we're ready to try to line this up. Get these bolts as straight as you can. Try to get it on there the first time. Now this bowl's not gonna wanna seat down in there very well because of that new seal that's on there. So as you tighten it up, it should get down in there really well. So 
So if you're wondering why these bolts and nuts do not have a washer that goes down under them, that's just simply because this is plastic and it has its own little flange sticking up here for the, for the nut. But there's plastic to crack. So you still have to be careful not to crack the uh, shroud. You need it just to get down snug enough so that for one, that the toilet doesn't shake, and two, so that the seal seals down in on the floor. Since it's a new seal, it's going to stick up a little bit, keep it from going down. But once you cinch those nuts down, these bolts, it'll cinch it down. Okay, now we're ready to put this line back on. We've got this clamp to put on there as well. Push that on there, make sure it's back there good. Take your pliers, push that back on there. All right, put it back there, but not too far back past your hose. And put on the water hose. Once we get these good and tight, then we'll go turn the water back on and test it. It's all plastic, so you gotta be careful and not tighten it too tight. Before I put the shroud back over the front here, I'm gonna go turn the water on and test it for any leaks so that the shroud's not in my way if I have to take a water line off or something to fix a leak or see what the problem is. Let's go turn the water on first and come back and give it a test. Just turn the water on, lift it up, see what we got. All right, that's a good sign. I'm able to fill the bowl now. Before I couldn't fill the bowl, the, the ball would just turn. So now it's filling. Staying full. And here we go. Now we got to check for leaks. Dry also. All right, one other thing that I do. Now that we put the new seal in, get you some toilet seal. It's a lubricant and conditioner. What it does is it helps protect the new seal that you put in there so that it uh, doesn't dry up and it also helps lubricate it also so that that ball works a little more freely. Again, conditions and protects the new seal that you just put in. You take a fourth of a bottle of this stuff, you pour it in the toilet and you let it stand for a minimum of eight hours. So a good time to do that is in the evening right before you go to bed. Now we're gonna stick this shroud back on. And easy as that and you just got your two rubber o-rings that fastens on the back and keeps it connected. Got one there and one there. Let's call it and that's all there is to it. It's good as new. See you in the next video.